Hey, what's up guys? I've got a Blu-ray update for you and a big package unboxing. As you can see right here, I got something from Amazon.co.uk. So I'm going to show you that in just a second. This is the thing I mentioned a couple weeks ago or a month ago now, I don't remember, but I said I was waiting on something that I ordered. And I'm going to show you that in just a second, but I also have a very quick uh, Blu-ray um, update. I got two things in the mail, I think, that were leftovers from the holiday savings or whatever. I forget even if these were actually on sale or what the hell they were, but I think... Well, whatever. I got them from Amazon. First thing I got was Don't Breathe. Um, it came with a slip, too, which I'm glad about because I've seen a lot. Well, I've seen some without slips in stores now. But uh, I got Don't Breathe for... I think it was eleven ninety nine, twelve bucks. 12 which I was hoping to wait until it was below 10 or until it was... Because this is so many title. This is This has got Save Station at Best Buy written all over it. Um, I was gonna wait, but then I thought I wanted it with a slip cover, and I wanted to see the movie because it's apparently really good. So I'm glad I got that for eleven ninety nine, and then I got for I think it was fifteen ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine. Amazon I think was matching Walmart or somebody. I'm not really sure, but I got from Amazon. I got it for whatever the hell price it was, fifteen bucks. Pete's Dragon, which um, I feel like it came and went in theaters. It got Good reviews, I think, but no one was really watching it or something. Maybe I just don't, I don't remember much about it, but I heard good things about it. I planned on getting it, and I did finally get it for uh, cheap, considering it's a Disney title. Fifteen bucks is not expensive. For Disney. I'll be able to sell the code for ten, so that's awesome. But, uh, so yeah, that's it. Those are the two Blu-rays, single Blu-rays I got this, just today. But that's not why you're here. You're here for this big unboxing I got here. So this is a set... I ordered, um, I've actually, before, and just give out a quick minute up, uh, summary of what happened. I've been watching this set on Blu-ray.com for, well, a while, actually. But then I finally saw it was kind of go lowering in price, lowering in price. It started out at about $100 or so. It had normally been around 120 ish I think retail was initially like 200 or something. I'm not really sure. It's been out for a little while. But, um... It was down to like eighty dollars, and I was that was that was my uh, price point on Amazon that I would consider buying it. But I, just was, I didn't have the funds exactly, so I was just going to keep watching it anyway. It was eighty bucks, and I was at like seventy-eight, and then seventy-six, and seventy-four, seventy-one, and and so on until it hit about I think it was forty-nine or so dollars, and I said fuck it, and I bought it. And with shipping and whatnot, it came to about fifty-five, fifty-six dollars. And then, like, seriously, then a couple days later, it went right back up to, like, 80 bucks. So I really lucked out. I'm glad I bought it when I did. Um, if you look on Blu-ray.com right now, as of the end of December uh, 2016, it's back up to about 80 bucks or so. And I'm, I would not have bought it at that point, just because. Anyway, here we go. I'm blathering on. You already know what it is, because you can see the title. But um, it came in this big, giant, floppy box. So I hope it's got some other protection on it. Yeah, I'll pretty open them. <laughs> pretty easily open that. Oh, there's a second box, which I guess is good. Also, just regular old tape. <laughs> so, hold on, let me get... Hold on, actually, I'll just leave it here. I have my trusty scissors over here, and I'll cut one of the sides. I'll cut this side, because it's kind of... a little easier. This is actually a little bit smaller than I thought I was going to be. And as you can see right there, it is Mad Men. It is the complete collection. And it looks... It looks like it's in good shape. I found only one unboxing online of this set. And I kept searching and searching. It was a decent unboxing, but I just I wanted to see more of the inside and see what people other people's shipping looked like and so I guess that's why I'm gonna unbox it too, just so you can get another look at it. But um I'm just looking for dings and whatnot. So far it looks looks like it's in good shape. Let's look on the back here. You can see what comes on it. It's got 
all the discs from seasons one all the way to 7.2 or just complete seventh. It's got some stationery. It's got the wine putting tobacco uh, paper ad that Don Draper puts out. It's got a floor map design of the uh, Sterling Cooper Draper Price set. It's got this character set, and it's got the the um, episode guides, some stationery more, and a bonus disc. Actually, the bonus disc is one of the things I wanted too, because I don't know if the U.S. has that, but it did. And it's got some headshots too. And I just, honestly, I love the look of this a lot more than the American set. The American set actually just has this picture right here, and it's like a wraparound, and it comes with some tumblers and some coasters, and it's a big, like, stupid box that's like a square. And I prefer things that are skinnier that I can display. So anyway, how's about I open this up? Without fucking breaking anything. Hold on, I'm going to do it so I can get a little closer look here. Hold on. I know it's boring right now. Just give me a second. Okay. Get it? Okay. I want to make sure I didn't cut anything. Because, you know, that'd be lame. It took about... How long did it take? Two... Well, I was during Christmas time, too, though, so that's why it took a little longer. But... It did come, it came a week sooner than it said it was. I was expecting this in January, and it's the 28th today of December, which is awesome. Okay, and this is glued to the back. Take this off. Terry glued it in. Hold on, let me see. That comes right off. It does leave these little marks right there, though. I don't like that so much. I guess I could put it back if I don't like that, but... It's got the exact same picture, it looks like, on the back. Uh, Lionsgate, apparently. Yeah. So that's cool. Alright. Put this over here. This is like a book, I believe, yeah. It's a very thick cardboard set. Very nice. Good quality. I'll put it over here again. Okay, as you can see, there's already discs sticking up here. Mad Men, the complete collection. The back has just got the picture of Don falling from the uh, opening montage. Alright, let's open this up. If you don't like what's being said, change the conversation. I remember when I first started watching the show in 2009, I think it had been on for a couple of seasons already, and I watched the first episodes. I rented it on Netflix, the, the discs, on a whim. And I was just, at first I didn't really like it that much. I thought it was kind of boring, but I just kind of, for some reason I kept going back. I, eventually I was hooked. I got my wife hooked. Everyone I know who started watching it like that eventually loved it. It's an engrossing show. Um, although at the same time, it is a little... It, I can understand why people say it's boring because not a lot happens, but a lot doesn't happen at the same time. It's so it's a very um, dialogue-driven show, um, taking place in the 1960s, mid to late 1960s, I think. Well, actually, maybe it was the early 60s. It was the 60s in the advertising industry. Uh, Madison Avenue, hence the name Mad Men. Anyway, here is season one. It's got all the partners and stuff on that side, and then it's got the discs here. Let's see how easy these are to take out. Not too bad. Disc one. The disc looks. Looks good. Disc two. I'm not gonna go through all of these like this. I'm just trying to see. It is a little hard to come out, but that's the the, the state of these kind of cases. They're they're a little hard to get in and out, but they're Blu-rays, so they shouldn't um. That looks pretty cool. You can see the Joker on my screen there. Look at that. Oh, where'd it go? It's a Joker. See? Anyway. Looks good. That picture of Betty Draper with a shotgun. Anyway, I'm not going to look at any more of them because that's boring. That's season one. It's really got these thick 
cardboard cases. It reminds me of the uh, Alien set a little bit. This is season two. I feel like I'm rubbing against that. And photos and stuff from the show. Season three. Season four. I haven't watched the show since it aired back in 2000 and... Was it last year? I think it was 2005, 15. So, almost two years since it was on the air. Season five. Season six. That is Bert, um, Pete, Joan, Don, and Roger. And whatnot. Season, oh, final season, season seven or the final season, part one. And part two. And this ends, the series ends in the 70s. And you can kind of tell by the, the looks on some of these people. Look at fucking Peter, he looks like a dumbass. Anyway. And then the last page here has the bonus disc. Hold on, let me get it. The complete collection bonus disc. And the Blu-ray looks just fine. Okay. Another reason why I like this, though, like I said, I like it's got this um, yeah. I'm gonna bend the the spine. But, hold on, maybe I'll do this. Lean up against something, or or what the fuck ever. <laughs> anyway, it's got this section on the back here called it says confidential SC and P, Sterling Cooper and Partners. It opens up. Actually, maybe I'll just... I'm literally going to fly here, guys. Sorry if this is like amateur hour. Because it fucking is. There, now you can see. Duh. First thing is the episode guide. Goes over the stuff on the bonus disc. Disc? I can't even fucking speak. Uh, when I'm with Matthew Weiner, Matt, still blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think I've seen... You can probably catch a lot of stuff online. And just like your typical episode guide. Nice to have. I was appreciated when they had the nice episode guide on a uh, series. Some of the, a lot of the um, single releases don't have that, and I like that just to have it so I know what's what's going on. These are the character cards. Look at those quick headshots. That's Roger Sterling, Don Draper, the main character, Betty Draper, Pete Campbell with the receding hairline, uh, uh, Peggy, what the hell's her last name? Peggy, Peggy Olson, duh. Um, and Joan Holloway. And that is all the main, that's the main cast. Two, three, four, five, six of them, yeah. Put that back in a second. And this is the office floor plan of SCDP. Uh, concept art. Is this... I don't know if this is too... Oh, it's just showing you the concept and then actual the floor plan. I guess. It's neat. I don't remember this. Okay. You can't see that very well, but I thought that was neat. The old thing to have... And then this, oh, what's this first one here? Why I'm cleaning tobacco? Wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay. 
Billy Don Draper, creative director. So that's, really cool. that's pretty cool, actually. September 16th, 1965. It's all fake, of course, but still neat. And that's stationery for Sterling Cooper and Partners, which is the last iteration. And then I assume the rest of these are all stationary. Is that right? Oh, and there's the... I'm not sure what this is besides just a... I mean, it's just it's just a thing. It's like it's a placard of or it's just a cardboard cutout of all the, all the people. I don't know what that is. It's neat, I guess, but it's also kind of dumb too. So, okay, and this is what is this? Oh, okay. It's it's announcing the merger. Okay, that's cool. Again, this is neat stuff from SMP. And that is just regular old stationery. I'm not sure why that's in here. It's just it's like a, it's cool to see it. SCMP. SCDP, Sterling Cooper Draper Price. A different iteration. Same thing. Hold on. Yep. I think that's all that's left here. Oh, Sterling Cooper, the initial agency. I'm guessing these last two are the same thing. Yep. Yeah, Sterling Cooper. Okay. So that's it. And it's it's, uh, it's a really cool set. I'm really glad to have it. It was a fantastic price, in my opinion. Although I do, I already own all the sets besides the final season, part two. I have part one. So I already own this show on, on Blu-ray. So I'm going to have to sell those on eBay or something or what have you. So anyway, I guess that's it. Um, I guess I can start packing this up or whatever. Well, whatever. I'll just close it up and you see it. It's a really cool set. I'm glad to get it. I was afraid. It's. I think it's technically an Amazon UK exclusive. I think. I'm not certain. But uh, there's more reason why I decided I wanted to get it. So that's everything, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you again later. And if you haven't seen the show, I recommend it. It's on Netflix USA, anyway. Um, I think it's in Canada, too, but I'm not sure. Um, the, DV the DVDs and Blu-rays are fairly cheap all online if you want to get them. That's one of the reasons why I'm not sure if I'm going to sell the set I have or not. But um, you can get them for a good price. But I recommend the show. It's it's a thinking show sometimes, and it can be kind of um, frustrating because it takes place in the 60s during the Civil Rights Movement and all that shit. And it's I sometimes you feel kind of shitty watching it, but um, it's a good show. It's really well acted and uh, well done. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you around. Thanks for watching. Bye.